Hi, this is Mark. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to slow down time. In another segment or video, I'm going to talk about how to speed up time. Uh, the reason I split it up in the two segments is it's easier for me to compartmentalize. And I'm also explaining, you know, the benefits of each going each direction. But in terms of time perception, um, it all starts, it's mainly predicated on our how attuned we are to the diurnal cycle or the cyclic pattern of the moon and the sun, the oscillation. You know, if you just, if you imagine yourself on a you know plane, you just lay down flat. Well, in this case, the projection of the sun relative to the Earth is it's it's like if you if you took a, a circular plane and then you have another plane perpendicular to it, circular, but but it's an open plane that has only the boundaries. Like so, you can basically have the oscillation of the sun uh, that circulates in a 24-hour cycle. So essentially, what we represent in the current in a day is half of that. And during the day, uh, if you imagine yourself, if you were just laying down for the, your whole life, you'd be attuned to that cycle. You'd be attuned to the flow of you know the time that is represented uh, in our daily lifestyle. And therefore, you'd be more able to accurately, accurately depict time. Now, so that's a big that's a big uh, large basis of how time is perceived. Because that's that's what dictates the the relative the the relative um, uh, standpoint or you know the the point because in your mind you know you're you're perceiving you're you're attuned to that cycle and and your time perception is a distant or the differentiation distinction between uh, the true cycle relative to you know uh, where you are or the location of disconnect from that cycle. And I'll explain that a little bit. It's I, obviously that wasn't worded very well, but um, so really the biggest thing it starts with is processing speed. And so if you imagine, like if you have we typically every every day we deal with cycles. You know, there's a stock market cycle. Um, you have mood cycle, sleep cycle, blood sugar cycle, eating cycle. You know. Every, everything is going in this almost like a cyclic pattern. And essentially what you find is, you know, that, that there's a uh, processing speed essentially goes through a cycle or it's not going to be necessarily like a sine wave or smooth, but it's going to have oscillations just like the mood. You're, you may have, you know, you may go, go into depression because you lose your job or some external effect happens and then it drops. But really, you have a biological. The interesting thing is, you have a biological mood cycle, which is connected to your hormone cycle, which is connected to the diurnal cycle. But there, there is also the volatility involved of the external cycle, which is almost like penny stocks. It's very volatile. You know, you don't know. You can't predict everything that's going to happen. Of course, in your life, it's very low predictability. Things just happen. You go out in the world. People are unpredictable. They go, out, especially when you're in a new area. You know, it's just could be it's initial chaos and you know you never know how this is going to affect you and therefore it could affect your mood and it's going to have more volatility to your mood but what what there is is what i like to define as a neutral zone it's something that exists if you imagine there's an average which we can't really define but it's something in between the upper bound and the lower bound well with processing speed there has to be a neutral zone you know you, you some days you may think sharper some days slower if you work out, if you exercise, your processing speed goes up. If you're lazy, your processing speed goes down over time. You know, if you if you uh, eat healthily, your processing speed will go up. You know, at least at least to a degree. If you eat poorly, it could actually go up. If you eat poorly, just temporarily, but you know, over time, it's actually going to have a detrimental effect because oxygenization of your brain is going to go lower. But, but what I mean, so, so if you start with that neutral axis, you want to compare, that's your relative, where you're comparing the distance between that neutral zone and where you are, where you reside, and also the rates, the frequency of the change. So what really happens, what dictates the processing speed is really the, the, the differentiation, the distinction. And, it, and, it, and due to processing speed, it's not a huge difference, but if you were to take drugs, like it definitely shows because it's such a rapid change and therefore creates a change in perception. You know, like if you take marijuana or any drugs, which you shouldn't take, I've taken my fair share and didn't go so well. Um, in the long term, it doesn't go. In the short term, yeah, you can have fun, but overall, it's not a good thing to do. Uh, but anyways, 
uh, in terms of processing speed, if you increase, if the way to slow down time is actually to increase the processor speed. And the reason for this is like, take an event frame. Think about like everything, like if, if you think of like a video camera, it's taking snapshots or, or frames per second. You have frames per second, you're watching a movie, it's happening. It seems continuous, but it's really just multiple frames going so fast that it, 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 it plays at a, at a it, it gives you the illusion of that. So, so essentially, we, the way we process, there's always process information, there's always a hiatus. You, you input, there's some, you're, you're inputting input, or you're processing inputs or stimuli, and essentially what's happening is it's, there's a hiatus, there's a, there's a certain gap in time where it go, gets transmitted to your brain, and then your brain does this, you know, processes it, and then, you know, it comes out, and it seems so fast that therefore almost seems like your brain's running, it's like a continuous processing. Um, but, but it's actually, if you think of it as event frames and suppose that you, you can take in within each event frame, uh, an average, say your neutral axis, you take an average of X amount of bits. Now you increase it to like five X or some, like some very high number. You increase it. Well, let's say five times, for instance, you increase it five times. Well, now what happens is your basis of time is based on one event that holds 10 bits. So let's just say, you suppose, let's just make it, suppose it's just 10 bits. Now you're, you go to 50, you translate to 50 bits. Very, very fast. So now what's happening is it's, it's like five event frames that you're perceiving. But what ends up happening is what's actually, you know, what the realization is when you're actually attuned to the diurnal cycle, because that's in your, in, when you're at your neutral axis, that's that's your that's your uh, basically how it, even though you may not be fully attuned to the diurnal cycle, if you're attuned to a proportion of it, you may not have a good representation of time. But because your process speed has been so fixed, it's not changing so much. Unless maybe you do drugs, it's usually not changing much in a given you you know in a given or extended period, such that it, it basically allows you to build like a, your own relative neutral zone, like in, in terms of the diurnal cycle. So when you compare that, so if you take that, now you have five times the events and you, you then, then, you know, after, after that passes, you think that five, maybe let's say uh, five hours, it's not going to be obviously five times the amount of time that you perceive, but just take this example, you know, you think five hours has passed. But in actuality, only one hour is best because you're 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 basically that one frame is 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 really the time that has you've been accustomed to this whole time, or it's it's connected to the clock, of course, the cycle. And anytime you change, you know, the amount of bits you're in, intaking, it's it's essentially extending that. You're you're basically extending that uh, time frame, and you're adding more event frames within it. And therefore, time is essentially lagged because, you know, um, the, the big the big key here is that um, you're you're basically uh, you're you're taking in time or you're perceiving time as if as if five event frames has passed. And so, like at the end of the day, you know, if you go through a twenty four hour cycle, you know, you're 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 transmitting uh, five times the amount of bits per that whole cycle. So you think a lot more time has, of course, passed because it's proportional to the amount of bits that you're taking in. That, and, and because you haven't adapted to it, it gives you the illusion. It gives you the, you know, you, you think, you, you think that more it is extended because of the extension of the time frames. But of course, again, and of course, I know I've, mentioned this uh i kind of reworded it multiple times but yeah to get the concept in or soaked in it's it's basically just note that it's proportional to the bits that you're holding in it and it makes sense you know that way um and of course the other direction it makes sense that you're only attuning to a fraction of the time frame and that's going to go therefore time is essentially cut it's or it's shifted it's almost compressed so in this case when your processing speed increase it's like extended or it's 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 uh it's like you're pulling the timeline and you're pulling it further apart or you're extending it 
further, further into the future, for instance. And that's just what you perceive. So the interesting thing, you know, if you, uh, you know, if you want to, that's if, you know, you want to slow down time because essentially, um, you know, if, 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 if that's, it's, that's just one way about increasing processing speed, but it's very different. The best way to do so is over time, increase processing speed is through exercise, not being lazy, taking care of your health. You know, this can actually extend your perception of time. Um, being lazy, being secluded, being out of tune with time does the whole opposite. And I'll explain in another video. But of course, any another there's another disadvantage though, because any anyone who's experienced depression or anxiety or you know, the, the reason time tends to go so slow in certain instances, even though it's interesting because depression can slow down processing speed quite a bit. It, but it depends. There's another reason why time is actually could, could lag and extend. And that is you are attuned to the passage of time. Because, you know, you think about it, when you are actually connected to the diurnal cycle, when you are actually, suppose you're in a class, like you're in a very boring class. This is a good instance because when you're in a very boring class, you tend to pay attention to the clock because you want to get out of it. It's, it's, it's like, it's like you're, you're very, um, you know, you're, you're, you're just suffering through this whole uh, activity or, you know, this event. And when you look at the clock and you're always focusing at time extends, it lags and it, it can be a grueling process. But, you know, um, and likewise, um, of course, if you take the negation of that, the opposite is if, you know, you're having a lot of fun. But, you know, so any boredom, any time you have anxiety, it's going to actually extend to a degree because your processing speed is going to go up. So processing speed, like I mentioned, is just one piece of the pie. It's not the whole, it's not, there's a lot of variables that come to play in terms of processing speed. Um, you know, but generally when you're, when you're in a fight or flight state, if you ever have like a near death experience, it seems like time is slowed down. It's like you're working in slow motion, uh, because you know, you're, you're, you're so alert. Your, your mind is so alert. You're focusing on so much stimuli. You're taking in so much, you're soaking in so much more than information than usual. Of course, you know, it's extending it. And but the best way, the most beneficial ways to extend time is, of course, like I mentioned, exercise and just uh, mindfulness. I need, uh, it's an interesting thing, and I'm going to explain because this is kind of a little bit contradictory because, you know, when you are mindful or when you do, uh, it depends. Meditation can, it depends how you meditate. Meditation can actually speed up the passage due to the process of speed, you're slowing down your brain waves, you're going towards theta waves, a dream state, which anytime you dream, and I'll kind of explain it more thoroughly um, in another video, but um, what ends up happening is when your mind, or at least I think it's what they say is living in the moment. And the reason for this, like when you're tuned to the cycle, again, like I mentioned before, is you're, you're basically, uh, Think of like nature has, it's a, it's, a, it's a cyclic pattern. You know, the, the diurnal is like one, but when you're tuned to that, you're, you're, you're tuned to a very, very, uh, you're, you're, you're reaching the, you're a strong connection with the actual cycle. So that, that think of that as like absolute, like one, you could represent it as one. Zero is no connection. You know, sleep, for instance, or like you have no connection, you're out of reality. You know, it's like zero, completely out of reality. One is where you're fully connected. Well, it's such a slow cycle. You know, this is how, this is why it lags when you look at the clock. But at the same time, you're not burdening. You're, you're, you're not really bored. In this case, you're not bored. You're actually de-stressing. But at the same time, you're lagging uh, the passage of time. Anytime you disconnect with reality, it does the opposite. I'll kind of explain the reasoning later. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, you know, interesting because no, it's, it, it does, to an extent, uh, lower the, the brain waves. But in terms of processing speed, uh, what's interesting about that is it's going to have an initial influence. 
Because when I mentioned before, you have that neutral axis, but what if now you adapt to it? So over time, you know, you have a, you have the neutral axis, you, you're saying you're mindful and your brain waves go from beta, which is when you're kind of a little bit anxious or you're, you're working and you're stressed and you're taking on a lot of responsibility. You go towards alpha and then you're kind of getting in between alpha and maybe going towards the uh, delta. I think I forget which one's the lowest, maybe theta, del delta, uh, somewhere, I think maybe delta. But anyways, you're going towards the uh, dream state waves. Of course, you may not reach it. You know, if you did possibly hallucinate a little bit, I've, I know some people may get hypnogic, hypnagogic hallucinations, which I think has to do with that. But when you're so relaxed and so, you know, you're going to get used to it over time. If, you know, if you drink like green, matcha green tea, anything that helps you relax, calm down, not only does it extend your life, it, it can also extend your perception to a degree. And, you know, likewise, like drowning yourself in alcohol, you would imagine does opposite. But anyways, because, <clears throat> uh, of course, if you black out, that's like the equivalent of time travel. Anyways, um, kind of get into that in another video. Um, but, yeah, I just think, like, you know, the, these two areas, uh, just, you know, being connected to the actual cycle, de-stressing, you know, working out, exercising, getting that blood oxygen up. Um, at the same time, exercise will will keep you at a steady, you know, good health, healthful level of oxygen. It will get your, you know, increased processing speed to, you know, degree, especially temporarily, especially when you're doing aerobic exercise, you get a temporarily boost, and that could possibly give you some extension of time, you know, to a degree. And, and, and the more you exercise, therefore, you can conclude maybe it extends or like, of course, if you do too much, there's a, there's, you're going to cause stress and therefore you may call, create, facilitate anxiety and deplete your hormones and then, you know, create a funnel of all other problems. And of course, um, so I think it's, you know, when you are mindful or, you know, meditation, it's, it's more about like, I guess, uh, being in the moment. Sometimes that could be very hard to do because like, um, uh, you know, it, it's, it's this one way I think that it can help um, extend time, but in a meaningful way, in a positive manner. You don't want to extend it like in an anxious state, which increases processing speed. It can extend and or being depressed and you're always paying attention to the passage of the clock and hoping that, you know, everything's going to, you know, uh, you know, you're just, you're, you're just really doing nothing and you're kind of just, uh, sometimes, I guess, in depression, it can have the opposite effect, but it really depends on what you're paying attention to. So paying attention to passage of clock uh, is usually signifies boredom, and it's usually not a good way. Uh, you would not want to be stuck in a uh, boring situation for the rest of your life. And because of that, have, you know, have uh, time extend, but at the same time, likelihood, the likelihood of your, your actual time is probably getting press because you have an, you have an absolute limit of you know your birth to your death and of course stress it, it compresses it and de-stress extends it so yeah i think i think the best way you know to you know uh increase you know time perception or extend it but in a meaningful way is through you know uh mindfulness um and yeah exercise and just um uh, eating healthfully and, you know, um, laughter, you know, euphoria, um, not, not trying to change your mindset in a positive way and just being active. Cause I think proactive, you know, when you do a lot of things, you know, of course, um, there, there's a fine line between if you, if you do, if you find yourself just sitting there and doing nothing, it's interesting how time just flows very fast. But if you're actually busy and, you know, you're doing stuff and, you know, at least you're getting some activity, and you're going outside, you're run, you're walking, you're, you're kind of, um, you're not just sitting indoors. You're not secluding yourself from the cycle. You're going to find a lot of benefits, you know, and it's going to extend not only your life, but the perception of passage of time that you perceive. So, yeah, that's just my take on it. Of course, there's other ways, um, you know, I only know like a fraction of the whole, 
um, in terms of time perception. I'm no expert at this, but it is an interesting phenomena. Uh, if anyone else has their take on it of what they believe can extend time, uh, feel free to comment and uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.